Hey guys, Yana Speaks here, and in this video, I am doing your love reading for mid-March 2020. Now, I want to start off by saying that all of my readings are general, so they may or may not resonate with you, because not every single whew, Taurus is going through the same exact thing. So if you find that this reading does not resonate, then it would be in your best interest to book a private reading with me. All the information to do that will be in the description below. All right, Taurus, so what is the Taurus overall energy? What is my Taurus overall energy in love? What is their overall energy? All right, we are starting off with the Two of Cups. For some reason, um, this month, I keep getting the Two of Cups a lot as people's overall energy, which is a really, really good thing. So it seems like in 2020, we have more people that are in love. So whoever this person is, I feel like you feel very compatible with this person. You really love this person a lot. You feel like you guys have a lot in common. And you may even feel like this person is your life partner. You may even feel like this is a person that, you know, was created just for you. Okay, so basically you guys are like lovebirds right now. We also have the Knight of Swords. So you may like... um debating with this person like i don't want to say fighting but y'all kind of debate with each other and maybe you guys get into like little um debates and you, and you may like feel one way this person may feel another way and you guys is like debates can get a little heated but i just feel like it's because you guys both are like really passionate about how you guys feel about things so that could be something that you tend to like about this person that you kind of go back and forth and debate with them Ah, okay, so let's go back. All right, so what I'm seeing here is maybe you guys have some type of debate, some type of disagreement that could have led to you guys kind of not seeing eye to eye. And it could have led to you guys kind of wanting to take a break from this person, like maybe wanting to isolate yourself from this person. So sometimes debating with people can be a bad idea Cause think of it like this, right? Like if a celebrity get on here and they and they state their opinion on something, you know, especially like religion or politics or whatever, like a person could be a fan of them and they could love their music. But if they say, Oh, you know, um, I voted for Trump. It's like that that artist would lose mad, like a whole bunch of fans because fans would be like, how could they vote for Trump? Because people are so passionate about their views. So whatever like debate you guys had or whatever like disagreement, it's like y'all like it, it seemed like y'all took it to heart. And it led to y'all like really just want to separate yourself from this person and kind of isolate yourself from this person or this person could be doing this to you. But don't let like little disagreements like ruin what you guys have okay there could also be something with some type of power struggle as well with you guys oh yeah we have the devil here okay and it's okay so whatever y'all like debated about it turned really toxic like, it could have been you guys was having a casual conversation and they might have said something that offended you or you might have said something that offended them and it just turned toxic. Like, it got real bad. You might even have, like, kind of debated with them about something that you feel that they're doing that's toxic. Like, something you feel like they shouldn't be doing. You could also be dealing with Aries. Um, but maybe you 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 have this energy of, like, wanting to take control of situations and like maybe this person don't really like that you could have come off like kind of controlling and like um maybe maybe they took what you said the wrong way like maybe you came off like real aggressive with it um so i feel like you are kind of in this spot where like you don't want to be bothered you don't want to talk to this person you isolate yourself from this person you may even be trying to think of like whether or not you should cut this person out and I feel like whatever you said to this person, it just came off the wrong way. Like, or whatever they said to you came off the the, uh, the wrong way. It was like very, 
sharp and direct like the communication that's what i'm seeing like maybe you, whatever you said like really cut them okay we got the tower hmm. okay so the conversation could have been about something that they were doing that you felt that's what i think it was you you had a conversation with them about something that they're doing that's toxic that you don't like maybe you feel like this person is being deceptive like lying to you about something and it just it just went a wire like you know what i'm saying and um but it's kind of saying that this was out of your hands like it was kind of like no way for you to say whatever you had to say without this person taking it the wrong way because whatever it was that you had to approach them with it was like a tough conversation it was a tough thing to talk about maybe the conversation was about you feeling like they taking too long to fully commit to you it was about something that they're doing but i feel like before you make a decision to end things with this person you need to take it slow like you need to slow down and, and think things through Yeah, you could be acting kind of overly emotional. Like, you could definitely be in your bag. You could definitely be in your feelings right now. But I feel like for the most part, you're trying to be, like, really stable. You know, you're trying to focus more on your stability. But I feel like whoever this person is, like, if you guys aren't talking, y'all will talk again. And it looks like you guys will, will have some type of success and victory with this person. But whatever you said, I feel like it just rubbed them the wrong way. And vice versa, it could have been something that they said. Okay, so how's this person feeling about the Taurus? How's this person feeling about the Taurus? How's this person feeling about the Taurus? so like i would say this person is is confused right let's just start off by saying that so this person does love you right and it's like this person is offering their cup of love to you this person the problem may be that this person may make like promises they may like kind of seduce you kind of say things like to get you open like this is someone that really like caught you by their words like, they're real charming. And sometimes they say things that they don't live up to, but it's not because they're trying to run game on you. It's just, like, kind of how they are. But I feel like this person means well. But I feel like whatever this argument you guys had, it's like, now this person's on some, like... Like, this person kind of viewing you like, like you're acting like you don't need them. That's how they feel. They feel like you're acting like, you know, like you don't need nobody. So... It's like, it's making them go into self-protection mode. It's making them be like, you know what? I shouldn't really invest in this anymore. And they're trying to find peace, you know? Like, I feel like this person does want this to work. But because they're looking at you as someone that acts like you don't want them or you act like, I, I guess you kind of come off like, um, like you don't need nobody. And maybe during the argument, that's what you may have said. Like, you may have said like, oh, if you don't get your stuff together, you know, I'll leave and, you know, I don't need this. I'm going to be fine either way. Like, you kind of came off like that to them. So, it kind of has them being like, you know what, maybe I should just, like, leave this person alone and move on. And they're trying to find, like, you know, their balance and their peace in the situation. But I feel like deep down inside, they would like for things to just move forward. And it looks like they would like to go to, like, a more peaceful place with you. But their feelings are very, like, unstable. So they're very, like, conflicted. It's like they're kind of all over the place. A part of them is like, maybe I should just move on and leave this person alone. And then the other part of them is like, no, like, I want to fix this and I want this to work. You know, I want to put this behind us. Let, you know, let it be water under the bridge type of thing. So I'm going to ask Spirit, what, 
what is this person leading more towards though do they want this to end or do they want it to work i feel like they want it to work and um if you guys aren't communicating right now this person seemed like they will eventually reach out to you like through some type of messages yeah, they want it to work. I feel like you make them happy for the most part. And they feel like you guys can manifest together. So they want this to work for the most part. All right, so I'm going to end. Ooh, sorry about that. I'm going to end this reading here, guys. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And if you want to book a private reading with me, all the information to do that is going to be in the description below. Bye.